in chest with Jeremy today, six weeks out. We want to make sure that he ends up getting a lot of stimulation. We're not going to go crazy annihilating because, again, we got to watch a little bit because of the pec tear. But we are going to get a kick-ass chest workout. So follow us. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Four, five, three, four, one, touch! That didn't count, good, two, good job! Staying strong, always moving on Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along Push myself to be the best, die with no... <gasps> There you go, squeeze. Hold it. There you go. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Good. Hold it. 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 Good job. We're getting him to pose it out. Time under tension in between sets. I want to make sure that he's squeezing all the muscles around the chest, not just the chest. So what we're doing is we're trying to get a little bit of trap, shoulders, everything else going. So we got blood in the whole area, so what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're getting not only the main body part, which is pecs, but we're also getting the ancillary body part. Alright, we're doing a dumbbell fly. We're just going to turn the wrists. There you go. Good. Squeeze. There you go. I want the real stuff. Everybody listen up, cause I'll only say it once. I'm gonna show you how to pass. Stop rotating? Yeah. Because as you rotate, what's happening is you're taking tension off. But if that's what you need to do to not feel pain, then do it. Yeah. But I'm just saying is just try to see if you can turn around and be able to hit it. But don't go heavy. Just I would just go 45 pounds and see how that feels. Shooter's gonna shoot and I'm gonna shoot until I fall. Yeah. Always do it on so what we're doing now is we're doing cable flies, ladder style, which means that we're going to go through all the range of motion. We're going to go low, we're going to go medium, we're going to go high, stay high, then come back down again. Whenever you grip, you're going to get more forearm and you get a little bit more bicep involvement. So what we want to do is we don't want to recruit too much arm. We want to try to focus on the chest. That's why I have him open up his hands. I'm stable. Oh yeah. No label. Oh yeah. You know me. I have only a path. I'm lonely. But damn, I'm going to win. Yeah. Right there. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Good job. Good, good volume. All right, so what we're going to do as a finisher is actually going to do a little bit of arching in the back, bring the shoulders back, and do Smith Machine. We're not going to go super wide. We're not going to go narrow. We're going to get to do a medium grip, and we're going to focus on the inner pec. And what we're going to do is bring the shoulders back and keep that mind-muscle connection all the way through, concentric as well as eccentric. So not making sure that we're not using any kind of momentum. Keep mind on the muscle and come down nice and slow. Head up when I act, head up that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up staying strong, always moving on Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along Push myself to be the best Stretch and drive up! Oh, Spread and I had so many dreams When you hit your teens, I think really what it seems Try to find out what it means Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Yeah, I put out all this art, it's my only medicine Yeah, everything I do, I'm just being genuine Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed, feel my own adrenaline Yeah, I do just all right, we just wrapped up doing chest, and again, this is a part of his body that he just tore uh, about 
mm, nine months ago, eight, nine months ago. So what we're doing is we're trying to take him to the limit of what his body is going to allow him to do to grow without getting re-hurt, which is there's a very, very fine line when it comes to that. So what we did was we really stimulated without completely annihilating him like we would normally would. So we went up right to that level and we kept it there.